Today I'm figuring out how much money the Goon Squad brothers will make from rebuilding their Lamborghini Urus. As an aspiring content creator myself, wanting to rebuild cars on YouTube has always been a goal of mine. But first I need to figure out if a business like this can even be profitable. So before I go buy a car to rebuild on YouTube, I need to see if this is something that can actually make me money. And if by the end of this video I find out that it is indeed a profitable business, then I might just have to buy a car to rebuild myself. For those that don't know, the Goon Squad brothers have quickly become one of the biggest YouTube channels in the rebuilding car niche, and they recently just got a Lamborghini Urus. They're averaging over half a million views a day and have over two and a half million subscribers. So I'd like to think they would be the perfect channel to reference in order to answer this question. Now, to make sure buying a car to rebuild doesn't backfire in my face, no pun intended, I spent hours researching all the information that I might need on their Lamborghini Urus and channel to see whether or not this is a good idea. And it came out to three simple steps. Step one is I'll need to figure out how much the Goon Squad brothers actually spent on on their salvaged Lamborghini Urus. Now, when they first unveiled that they were rebuilding a Urus, I was quite surprised. Changing parts on even a clean title Lamborghini is not only difficult, but also extremely expensive. And when I saw the condition of theirs, I was actually shocked. It's completely destroyed. The good thing though about the damage is it will make it very easy to find when I scroll through the auction of sold salvaged Lamborghinis. Although before I do that, if we check out their second episode, what's even more helpful in identifying their car is the lot number attached to the top of the the window. If I zoom in, I can make out the numbers and it reads 442-03162. Now, if I plug these numbers into Copart, you can see it populates their exact car. 33,295 miles, the same exact damage on the left side, that it was sold out of Philly and even who the seller is. Unfortunately, sold cars on Copart though won't give me the winning bid, but that doesn't mean I should give up. What happens is when a car is sold on Copart, their transaction history usually gets stored on third-party websites. Now, if I plug that same lot number into a website called bid.cars, you can see not only does a Lamborghini Urus appear, but it also gives me the final bid price of $110,000. But this isn't what the Goon Squad brothers paid. There are actually a ton of fees that go along with Copart. And if I use a Copart fee calculator, I can get a better price of what they actually paid. You see, $110,000 is the purchase price, the final bid. The vehicle is located in the United States, and I would infer that they paid cash as that's probably the cheapest and safest way to purchase a car, especially a salvaged one. Now they most likely made the bid online and as for the member type, they are probably a consumer or at least they once were, although I'm not sure if they currently are, but we can try both methods. The reason I would think they are a consumer and not set up as a business is because in Tennessee, Chattanooga, Tennessee, you need to have a business license, also known as a dealer's license, in order to purchase salvaged cars from Copart because I've tried and it's the same rule set up here in Florida. In order to get a dealer's license, you need to be a car dealer, and that requires proof of a lot and a building. Now, with that in mind, they would need to use a broker in order to get the car, and that's the same thing that I would have to do here in Florida. Now, using Salvage Reseller, which is what I would use as the broker, you can see they charge a broker fee of 10%, sales tax of 9.25%, which is based state by state, and this is what they would pay in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And now we get a final price of $146,840.74, and as you can see, that is much higher than their original bid, but don't forget that that doesn't include shipping. And as you guys can see, they did use a transport truck, which means using Copart's shipping estimate, that would probably cost about $2,000, maybe a little less or a little more if they went private, but that would bring our total to about $148,000.840. If by chance they are a business on Copart, which is highly possible since they have a dedicated building now that they built and a lot, and I've also seen that they might even have a dealer's, you know, test drive license license plate on their 15th episode of the Urus, then we can drop the broker's fee since they would be doing this themselves. Now that would then bring their total with the delivery fee to $133,218, give or take as there are a few other petty fees like mailing and other things. If we take the median of both paying as a consumer and as a business, I can infer that they paid probably somewhere around the range of $141,000 to buy the Lamborghini Urus. Now this brings us on to step two. I now need to figure out how much they plan to spend on parts. Fortunately, in their third episode, they made that extremely easy to figure out. They actually revealed that the roof cost them an additional $4,000 to whatever they paid. We also got the roof included right here, 
for an extra $4,000. And then the separate fender that's black was $3,000 from a different car. And this sucker right here was actually a surprising $3,000. But they said in total for the whole left side of the car with the doors was $20,000, including the roof. As for these doors right here, it came as a package. And I guess we'll just tell you guys what we paid for a whole other Lamborghini Urus, which was actually $20,000, dude. Bringing their total up from $141,000 to $164,000 when you include the left side of the car and the one black fender from a different car. So now that I have an average baseline for how much the Urus rebuild will cost them, we can move on to the last step, which is step three, and figure out how much revenue they could make from filming the rebuild process. They'll have to calculate a few things. For example, how many videos they will make on the rebuild, how much their ad revenue is, how many sponsors they may get, and the prices of all those things. Since they are currently on their 15th episode and they are likely only halfway finished with the build, I would gather that they could easily make another 15 videos, somewhere between maybe 25 and 30 videos total for the Lamborghini uh, Urus rebuild. If we take the mean views of the current 15 videos, we can infer that the next probably 15 videos will average about 699,000 views. With that number in mind, I now have to figure out how much YouTube pays them per 1,000 views and what better way to find that out than to reference the video that I made on them a few weeks ago. Now, if I click on the revenue tab, you can see that the playback-based CPM on the video is $7.42. Unfortunately, YouTube keeps 45% of that. That leaves me with a take-home of about $4.08. Now, if you guys saw my RPM, please ignore that because that's skewed. My channel got monetized in the middle of that video, so it is not giving me an accurate representation of how much that YouTube car niche is and also how much I should be making. The CPM is a much better reference to see how much the Goon Squads actually make. Now, moving on, if I multiply $4.08 by 699, which is how many thousands their videos average, we get a total of $2,851.92 per episode. This times 30 episodes is $85,557.30. Obviously, nobody knows what the Goon Squad Brothers will actually make off this build, but I would infer it is probably around that price for 30 episodes on the Urus. Next, out of the 15 episodes, I can only find one sponsor in episode 11. Before we get to work on the Lamborghini Urus, I do want to give a huge shout out to Fishing Clash for sponsoring today's video. And if we check out the video I made on DDE, you can see Damon mentioned that he gets paid around $25,000 to accept a sponsor. I did an electric toothbrush offer. Yeah, I did six figures. I charged $25,000 for that. And because, you know, the Goon Squad Brothers have a similar audience and subscriber count, I'd likely think it's a good reference to what the Goon Squad Brothers could bring in on a sponsor. Also, if you guys want to watch out that video on how Damon and Dave from DDE became millionaires, then make sure to click the link right over here. Given there has been one sponsor in 15 episodes, I think it's safe to say they will probably maybe get one more by the time the Urus is rebuilt. And this means in total on sponsors, they could probably bring in around $50,000, moving their total revenue up to $135,557.30. Now, there's a few more things we can throw into the list, which will be hard for me to calculate. Of the 30 episodes they make, they include an affiliate link for not only only their gang sauce as well as their merch, but also the affiliate links for their sponsor. Now, rebuilding the Urus creates a platform for them to advertise their own products and affiliate brands, which I'm sure is generating them a lot of money, therefore boosting their revenue up even higher than what we calculated. At this point in their career, the Urus is no longer just a car to them. It's merely a prop used for their show. And the last thing we have to look at is once the car is rebuilt, its value should ideally increase. In total, they spent $141,000, you know, after fees and everything on the Urus and $23,000 on parts, 164K total. And its value finished with a rebuilt title and, you know, the high mileage of 30,000 miles would have a market value of around 155K to 165K when you include the fact that it's rebuilt, high mileage, and you compare it to clean title Lamborghinis. This means that the build alone, they would most likely be pretty close to breaking even. And that's if they do decide to sell it, which they they seem to be doing with their recent expensive builds. Alrighty guys, so check this out. Both of these cars are finally ready to be shipped away. But is we're actually gonna sell this thing, put it up on the market. I would, I'd get rid of it for 67. That's kind of what we talked about with my brother and like, we'd drop it down maybe 30 grand. 
We just wanted it to be presentable because when the customer comes out here, we just want him to just, his eyes just to glow and him to just take this without like any questions. You know what I mean? Well, and although after selling the car and breaking even on the build, they would be left with around $135,557 in profit. And the crazy thing is they're only halfway in with 15 episodes and it's only been about a month, which means that they will be probably finishing the build in two months total, making them around $67,778 a month, not including, remember, any extra they make from their dang sauce, from their merch, or from affiliate revenue coming from the sponsors they've shown in the videos, which I'm sure is a very pretty penny. All in all, their build is clearly profitable, and I guess that means I have to go car shopping. So comment down below what should be the first car I rebuild here on this channel, and don't forget to subscribe. See ya.